when I took a look at this <clears throat> when I got up uh, early, the uh, first thing I look for is the 15. I want to see the, you know, a medium type chart already coming into the 42s, 41s. We knew that was an area of significance because it was a turning point earlier. But you've already got a good Momo trade going. So you've got to take the heat if you short bounces. And in this 48, you can see how this 48 zone, there's a shelf here. Um, previously, that 47 had been support going the long side. So turn that around, throw a point or so behind it and say, okay, 48's resistance. <clears throat> and uh, let's see if we can't uh, hit the next bracket. We could see it. We had a mark right on our chart because that had been support for that drive. And we come back and we take it out. Then start doing your math. And then go back to last week's range and last month's range and take a peek. Scroll back. You can visibly see these areas and expect <clears throat> that the market wants to knock these traders out. Nobody's going to be long this and have it coming back and, and not protect, you know, and turn that into a losing trade. That's what causes this to come back and, and test in the middle of this bar and then obviously uh, the gap zone. So that's part of trading, understanding that. And this is the retest of this low. This is an important line because some traders will see this as an inverted head and shoulders. We've got to take that out and then come down and actually take out the bottom to negate that pattern, uh, which I believe we've done largely enough already. We still have to take this out, but, it, but at least we kind of negate that look that some traders will look for. Currently today, this obviously 55 is resistance and um, I'm probably best off to use that 48 zone as our key resistance for today. Above that, then it'll start to get a little bit of staying power. And there's not, in my opinion, um, not any uh, high odds trade this morning. Otherwise, that half gap trade and so on, probably not. And we can get a V bounce, but unless we get some kind of crazy news, I think it's going to take some time. So best chart right now, if you're looking for a chart to to play off of, my opinion, probably the five-minute chart. Keep an eye on this for now, because we need to be above the blue line. That's resistance for now, this 42 zone. Get above the 42, and then we can start to move a little bit. But that should be our first resistance. And don't overtrade right now. And then move this back to your 10. And we probably will get some range for a while. And then the 15. And bounces will get hit today, no doubt. So the real question becomes, is the low in? And a reminder that uh, 33.75 is a significant area. So 32 to 34 zone uh, initial support. And before the day's over, that might get challenged.
awkward days when when you come in and the market's already sold off this amount <clears throat> because it's darned if you do and darned if you don't. A huge gap down. Obviously, uh, generals have to back the train up, and that's why anybody with profits, it's easier to finance a buy if you've already made it from the trend side. And a reminder, it is month end. It's a pretty good washout. And think of your <clears throat> first half hour as the market trying to stabilize. Market will want to <coughs> retest this low and see if this low is it or not today. And keep an eye on NQ. NQ trying to work off of its double over here. <clears throat> 